The black tip shark is a creature I have been curious about for quite some time. It is of moderate size usually around 5 feet long and is renowned in the world of sport fishing as a tough and consistent fighter that often jumps out of the water when hooked. I have wanted to catch a shark ever since I started fishing at the age of 7, and now that I live in Florida, that dream was able to become a reality. The black tip shark is found in tropical and subtropical waters worldwide. It is found in the western Atlantic from Massachusetts to Brazil, and also off the coast of Africa, in the Indian Ocean, and in the Pacific, near the coasts of China, Japan, and Australia. It lives in relatively shallow waters, on the continental shelves and near the drop-offs on coral reefs. They are also tolerant of low salinities and enter estuaries and mangrove swamps. It gives birth to live young, which grow up in estuaries and other sheltered environments. They return to the same site year after year to give birth. However, there have been documented cases of asexual reproduction in captivity. Over 90% of their diet is fish, with common prey being jacks, groupers, mullet, smook, and a variety of other small to mid-sized fishes. They have also been reported eating smaller sharks of other species. I caught mine on half a jack that we caught in turn on bait fish. They live in groups and can be coaxed into feeding frenzies in appropriate conditions. Because they are fast, strong, jump out of the water, and come in groups, they are popular among sport and recreational fishermen as well as being pressured by traditional commercial shark fisheries. This has led to the species being placed into the near-threatened bracket. As a music major, I have composed a song for and about the black tip shark. The harmonic structure and intercordal relationships present in my new composition Blues for Blackfin mirror the life cycle structure of the fish. The tonic is revisited at the top of each chorus, just as the same breeding grounds are revisited after each yearly breeding cycle. The sedominant leads to the dominant, just as the young blackfin shark eventually leaves the estuary or mangrove nursery to begin its adult life. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 